How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that has been over 24 years I have been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close colleagues say if you cut Andy in half it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool. I have now written 134 articles and recorded 30 hours of VMware vSphere videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Experts Exchange awards over the last 10 years working with the Experts Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame at Experts Exchange. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert programme since 2011 and more recently made a VMware vExpert Pro for the last three years. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour, but again, a short one. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload an ISO image to a VMware data store uh, for use with VMware vSphere Hypervisor 8, ESXi 8 using the vSphere host client and checking its MD5 checksum signatures correct. Now I'm going to follow roughly the same video that I did before uh, for ESXi 7, um, but I'm going to spice it up a bit because I'm going to upload two ISOs using uh, the vSphere host client direct to the server, uh, connected directly to ESXi, and I'm going to upload two ISOs uh, through vCenter server. Uh, I'm going to spice it up a bit because to speed things up, um, I'm going to be a little bit clever. Um, I've already computed the MD5 checksums uh, using MD5 and SA checksum utility 2.1. Uh, so as you can see, I've already done it here for um, the Windows 11 ISO that we're going to be using uh, in these labs. Um, so this bunch of videos uh, on vSphere 8. Uh, we're going to use Windows 11, uh, we're going to use Server 22, I'm only going to use Ubuntu 22.04 uh, desktop and server. And just to spice it up a bit, uh, something modern and up to date rather than using uh, a Windows 2003 or a Windows NT4 ISO, which I've used previously. So I've already computed all the checksums using the checksum utility. Uh, as an example here, and I've actually basically created a little file uh, check md5 dot check md5 dot md5 uh, which consists of the md5 checksum followed by the file name uh, for all four files and what I'm going to do I'm going to upload that to the server as well and I'm going to use that file as an input into the md5 sum utility to go through and to automatically check all our ISOs uh, to check that they've been uploaded correctly to the data store and they've not been corrupted in any way. So we finish with the MD5 utility and I've finished with uh, Notepad++. Uh, so let's uh, go to our server. So this is the ESX host client. So this is directly connected to uh, our host. So I want to select the storage, the data store, which in this particular case is ESXi002 underscore local underscore VMFS6. And I'm going to select data store browser. Now I've already created an ISOs folder. Um, I wouldn't normally store ISOs on a data store which is used for virtual machines because storage is precious. I would normally put ISOs on a NAS data store um, via NFS. Um, so on an NFS data store on a NAS uh, because that storage is normally much cheaper and we're not using ISOs all the time once we've actually created templates. Um, so I'm going to select upload and I'm going to specify our two Windows ISOs. Now I can only do them one at a time via the host client so I'm going to up upload the Windows 11. Um, so that's uploading. So that's how we upload via the ESXi host client directly connected to the server. So that works on the free edition. So if you've just got ESXi, you haven't got a vCenter server in your organization, then that's how you would upload an ISO. 
So I'm going to go to our vCenter server, our management server that's managing our hosts. And again, I'm going to select the data store. And I'm going to double click ESXi002 underscore local underscore VMFS. I'm going to click ISOs. And there you will actually start to see the file which is being uploaded from this workstation um, from the host client. So I'm going to select um, actions. Uh, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to select upload files. And I'm going to select the remainder of these files. Now, Using vCenter server, I can actually tag and upload multiple files all at the same time. So I'm uploading the 20, 2022 server edition, uh, the desktop edition of Ubuntu 22.04, and the server edition. And I'm going to click open. And as you can see, uh, those are going to start to, to upload. And if we just go back to our host client, and that's uploading nicely there as well, and it's at 35%. Um, so I'm going to bob off and uh, so I'll speed this up in post and I'll come back um, when our ISOs. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to change directory on the server to VMFS volumes, followed by our local data store to ISOs. And there was one other file that I also forgot um to upload as well and that's our check md5.md5 file which is just a text file and that's what it looks like on the server so i'm going to bob off and uh, i'm going to come back and um we'll then run the command uh, to check some or the files, so I will be uh, I'll be back shortly. So we're going to type md5 sum space dash c space check md5 dot md5 followed by enter. And the server is going to sit there doing the number crunching. And hopefully it will come back and turn around and say, OK, 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 OK. If there's a discrepancy and there's corruption in the ISA that we've uploaded, then it will actually come back and say failed. Um, so there's no point really me actually sitting here waffling on. Um, so I'll just bob off again and I'll come back and hopefully we've got four. Uh, OK, so I'll be back shortly. OK, so I'm back in the route. So great. We've got four OKs. We've got OK, 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 OK. So just to summarize, um, we've uploaded an ISO using the host client connected directly to our ESX I host server. And we've uploaded three ISOs in this particular case uh, using vCenter server. Uh, we've used the um, MD5 and SHA utility to create four checksums. Uh, we've written them to a text file. We've uploaded the text file to our ESX IHO server. And we've used that text file as the input to the MD5 utility to go off and check our ISOs that we've uploaded are all pucker and they're not corrupt in any way. So that's all I've got to say um, in this video, really. Uh, there's nothing more to say other than the fact that I thought I'd actually wear a different T-shirt for you today. 
Uh, didn't think I, did, I thought I'd wear uh, from my good friends. It's on this shoulder, uh, Nvidia, and I'd uh, wear my uh, DGX uh, user group T-shirt uh, rather than Experts Exchange one. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching again, um, and uh, and come back uh, soon and start uh, watching the other videos that we do uh, when we start installing virtual machines using these ISOs that we've uh, we've uploaded today. Okay, goodbye.